Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to play Hanuma Koji by Emperor S4 Games. First, place all the Geisha cards in ascending numerical order, like so. Then place one of these tokens in the centre of each card. Give both players a set of action markers labelled 1 to 4. Give the item cards a shuffle and take one out from the game. This won't be used for now. Deal six cards to each player. These should be kept secret. Now you're ready to play the game. Now the objective of the game is to either win four Geisha Girls or win 11 Charm Points as indicated by these numbers here in the corner. Each round, a player is going to draw a card from the, the item stack and use one of their actions. I'll go through these actions now. The first action, Secret, allows you to choose one of your cards and place it face down, like so. Place your marker on top of it. At the end of the round, this card will be scored on your side of the board, which I'll explain in a second. The second action is called Trade-Off. This allows you to choose two cards, place them face down, and put your marker on top of them. Those two cards will no longer be scored this round. They are removed from the round completely. This is particularly useful when you control the a Geisha Girl and you don't want your opponent to have those cards. The third action is called Gift. This action forces players to choose three of their cards from their hand and then the opponent must choose one of those cards to put on their side of the board. So say for example I, I chose these three cards and my opponent chose this card. They would then choose that card and put it in front of the Geisha Girl that it corresponds to. For example here, the, uh, the musical instrument next to the musical instrument. The two remaining cards that my opponent didn't choose would go on my side of the board in front of that corresponding Geisha Girl, like so. The fourth and final action is called Competition. This works very much like the third action where instead of choosing three cards, you choose four cards and divide them into two pairs of two. Then your opponent will choose which pair they want to place on the, their side of the board. For example here, they would choose the two fans and put them next to the corresponding Geisha Girl. The cards that my opponent didn't choose would go on my side of the board, like so. Once all four actions have been taken by both players, you would then reveal the card that you use to store using the secret action, flip it over and place it next to that corresponding Geisha Girl, like so. Now it's time for scoring. We start off by comparing the number of cards on each side of the Geisha Girl. So for example here, this player has two cards while this player has zero cards. So the favour token would slip over to that player, meaning they control one Geisha Girl. And we continue down the line. This one here, because both sides have one card each, the, the token in the centre stays in the centre, as nobody will be winning the favour of that Geisha Girl. This one would come to here. This one would come to here, because these two have one card each, that one has none. This one here is two compared to one, so it comes to this side. This one comes to this one, and this one goes to this player. To decide the winner, we check if either player has 11 or more charm points. In, this, in our example here, this player controls four of these markers, and those scores correlate to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's more than 11, so this player would be declared the winner. If neither player has uh, 11 or more charm points, then it will go to the player with four of these markers or not. If neither player has um, either of those, then the markers stay in the position they're in and another round is played. And that's how you play Hanamikoji.